back when I was first trying to improve myself and I was trying to change myself and basically change my life, right? Because, you know, I mentioned before, like back in the day, like not even back in the day, but like back in like two years ago, two and a half years ago, I guess like I could say like I was very unconfident. I was I had low low self esteem. I was very insecure. I had low confidence. Uh, I didn't really have like my life as ordered or as structured and as disciplined as it is now. Like you know back then I would wake up at whatever time. I would go to sleep at whatever time. I would you know do things that were not good for me. Like for example, I would you know fap all the time. My habits back then were not good. I had horrible habits back then and that reflected on me you know that's one of the reasons why i was insecure i was unconfident i was not who i wanted to be because what i was doing on a daily basis was not supporting the person that i wanted to become and so i ended up wanting to find out you know what can i do to change my life or more specifically what can i do to become a more person who is more confident and more secure of his own self basically have a higher self-esteem i started to look at you know things that i can do in order to become this type of person right i started to look at things that i can do to better myself in some way and you know as i started as time started to go by you know i started to do these things and yeah they were helping me yes i was improving but there was still a missing piece there was still something missing in this puzzle of becoming the person that i wanted to become and the thing that i was missing was that i was so focused on doing things to improve myself i was so focused focused on what can i do instead of being more focused on who i have to become i started to realize that the reason why i was so unconfident the reason why i was basically insecure of my own self the reason why i had low self-esteem it was because i had a different identity and the thing is that the actions that i was doing on a daily basis the habits that i was doing the habits that i was practicing all these things that i was doing on a daily basis they were supporting that identity of being an insecure and you know unconfident person unconfident man and that's when i realized that truly the way you change your life, truly the way that you become a different person is by changing that identity. You know, right now you could go on YouTube and you could search up how to change your life and you see so many different ways to change your life. Going to the gym, working out, you know, meditating, journaling, you know, all these different things that you can do with several, several hundreds of methods that you can do to change your life. And there's so many of them that you can do, right? You could do all of these if you want. But at the end of the day, you have to focus on changing the identity that you have. You have to focus on changing who you are in order to become this person that you want to become. In order to become the person that I wanted to be, I had to focus on becoming that person more so than doing the things that's going to improve my life. When you start to shift that focus and start to focus more on who do I have to become? What type of identity do I have to change? And how can I support these, this identity? What can I do to support this identity? That's when you start to focus on what can I do? But before you even focus on what can you do to change your life, you have to focus on who do I have to become first? Who is this type, who is this type of person that I want to be? Who do I want to be? And once you realize who you want to become, then you go to, okay, what can I do in order to become that person? Your identity is the person that you portray yourself, is the person that you see in the mirror. That's the person that you are. Back then, the reason why I was that type of person, the reason why my identity was that way was because everything that I was doing on a daily basis was supporting that identity. I would fap like a lot during that time. Not a lot like excessively, but it, it was a habit for me. Like it was something that I did, you know, on a regular basis. And not only that, but I was also watching The Hub at the same time of doing that. So I was doing that and I was watching The Hub as well. Not only that, my workouts were inconsistent. I was not working out on a schedule based. You know, I was... You know, I, I would have a schedule for my workouts, but I wouldn't follow through with them like the, the schedule that I had. There would be some days where I had no motivation and I wouldn't even work out that day. There were some days where, you know, like I mentioned, like I would beat off and then I wouldn't work out after, you know, because, you know, when you beat off and you let go of your nut, like you have no drive, no energy. So my workouts were inconsistent. Not only that, my eating habits were not as great. You know, this during this time I would work out and I still didn't have the body that I wanted. And, you know, I was skinny. And, you know, I had a, mu a little bit of muscle here and there. I had abs because, you know, obviously when you do ab workouts and you're skinny, you're going to have abs. It's not, you know, it's not that difficult to have abs if you are skinny and you do ab workouts. But I didn't have the muscle definition. I didn't have that body that I wanted or I didn't have the body that I could look at myself in the mirror and like, yes, like, you know, I'm working towards this goal. Like I didn't have that body. And it was because I was having horrible eating habits. You know, I was eating horribly. Like I was not 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 so much eating horribly but what can i say is that my my eating habits were not as great but they weren't bad either like i would eat healthy but at the same time i would eat junk food a lot more during that time like i would eat myself some chips on a, on a on a weekday like i would drink myself some arizona iced tea on a weekday like i would not be as consistent with my eating habits compared to now you know 
like I eat a lot, a lot better than I did before. Like now, like I'm very disciplined with my eating habits. And yeah, I still eat some junk food here and there, but it's very, very low compared to the amount of healthy habits that I practice when it comes to my eating. And back then I didn't have that. So those are just a couple of examples of the actions that I took back then. And those actions that I took supported that identity of being insecure, low self-esteem, no confidence, you know, uh, all these different things that affected the way I viewed myself. When it comes to your identity, if you want to change your identity, you have to do things in order to support your identity. You got to look at it like this, right? Your identity is how you view yourself. Your identity. So if you're someone who's insecure, you have low self-esteem, you think you're ugly, you know, you just don't like who you are, right? If you, if you have this identity, then you have to look at the habits that you practice every day, the things that you do every single day. Those things are supporting the identity. That's why you view yourself that way. I wanted to become a more confident, higher self-esteem. I, I no longer wanted to look at myself and think like, damn, like I'm not that attractive. Like I wanted to change the way I viewed myself in a positive way. And I wanted to become a different person, a disciplined person, a consistent person. All these things, all these things that go towards that identity, I had to support it every single time with the actions that I took every day. You gotta think about it like this, right? The identity that you have is supported by the things that you do. For example, like if you're someone who you know, is unconfident, low self-esteem, all these things, right? And you beat off and you watch the hub every single day. You're supporting that identity of being insecure and low, you no know, confidence by beating off and watching the, the hub every single day. You, that action of watching the hub and beating off is supporting that identity of being unconfident and low self-esteem. Every single time you do a certain thing, whether that's eating healthy or eating unhealthy, whether that's going to the gym or skipping the gym to watch some TV, whatever those actions you take, Whatever action you take is supporting that identity that you want to become. So you could be saying, oh, you know, I want to become confident. I want to, you know, grow muscle. I want to be a good looking dude. I want to be so confident in myself. I want to go outside and be confident in who I am. If you want this identity, then you got to support it with the things that you do on a daily basis. Your actions are going to determine whether or not that identity is created for you or not. If you were right now watching this and you, you didn't work out today, what identity are you supporting with that? Are you supporting that identity of being healthy and fit and have that body that you want? Or are you supporting that identity of being unhealthy, you know, undisciplined, not consistent, and you're not getting the body that you want, which means that you're not gonna be as confident as you want. So you gotta look at it like that way. Every single time you do a certain thing every single day, you know, whether you work out or not, you got to think of it as a vote towards the becoming the person you want to become. If I put my alarm today in the morning, which I did, I always do, let's say like 7 a.m. And I don't, and I, and, and the alarm wakes me up and I, and I, and I turn off the alarm and then I go back to sleep for another 30 minutes. The identity that I'm supporting with that action that I did is an undisciplined person because a disciplined person, a person who identifies themselves as being disciplined is going to get up from their bed once the alarm hits whether they're tired or not, it does not matter. He's gonna get up because he's a disciplined person. So that's how you have to view it. Every single action that you take is a vote towards becoming whether the person you wanna become or whether the person you don't wanna become. So if you're someone who wants to become a healthy person, you know, you wanna lose that body fat and you're eating horrible today, like I'm talking about you eating chips, you drinking yourself some soda, you're not supporting that identity of being a, a, a healthy, fit person. So you have to change your identity. And the way that you change your identity is by changing what you do on a daily basis. Because what you do on a daily basis, the actions that you take, is going to support or neglect that identity that you want. If you want to change who you are, you have to change what you do. If you are unhealthy and you are, you know, you think you're ugly and, you know, you're just unconfident, you're at your lowest point right now. If you continue to do the same things that you're doing right now, your life will not change at all. Your identity will not change at all because you're doing the same thing. It's one of those things that I think there's a quote where it says, being insane is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. You cannot change your life and become a better person if you're still practicing bad habits and doing the same bad habits every single day. So if you wanna change who you are, you gotta change what you do. And what you do is gonna support that person that you wanna become. You know, so you gotta think about it like this. Every single action that you take is evidence towards becoming that person that you wanna become. So if you wanna become a disciplined person, if you wanna become disciplined, healthy, attractive, confident in your own self. If you want to become all these things, then you got to make sure that your actions support that. Your actions are evidence of whether or not you are that person or not. If you are disciplined as you say and you wake up at 8 a.m. when the alarm goes off and you don't go and you go back to sleep for another hour, then you're not supporting that identity of being disciplined. There's no evidence because you basically you you, you obviously didn't wake up at the time that you said you were going to do. You went back to sleep for another hour because you were tired or you wanted more sleep. So obviously the evidence that you put in was not supporting that identity. Once I realized this, everything changed for me. Everything changed because my mindset shifted in more of 
everything that I do is either supporting or neglecting the person I want to become. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that you can't, you know, eat junk food here and there because I, even though that's a bad thing to do, in moderation is not bad. You know, for example, like me, like there's I, there's some times where, you know, I eat myself a sandwich with some chips. There's some times where I drink myself my Arizona with my iced tea. There's some, there's some times where I eat foods that are not healthy for me, but it's in moderation and it's very low compared to the amount of healthy foods that I eat. You know, so it's like that 80-20 rule, you know, it's like that 80%, 20%, you know, 80% of the things that I eat is healthy and 20% of the things that I eat is unhealthy. And ultimately, like in the long run, like I'm still going to be winning because 80% of the things that I'm eating is healthy. So I'm not saying that you can't, you know, eat yourself an unhealthy food here and there, but you got to make sure that the good habits override the bad habits you got to make sure that there's more good evidence than there is bad evidence if you think you're unconfident if you think you're ugly if you think you deserve nothing and things like that you got to realize that these are all beliefs and the reason why you believe yourself that way is because you're practicing actions that are supporting that belief so once you start to switch your actions once you start to switch what you do your beliefs are going to start to switch because you're going to support a different belief, a more positive belief with the things that you're doing on a daily basis, the actions that you're taking on a daily basis. You're no longer going to be that person who is unconfident, low self-esteem, and who believes that they're ugly. You're going to start to believe that you are attractive. You're going to start to believe that you're confident, high self-esteem, and all these positive things. But you got to realize that all these positive things, all this positive identity that you have, all these positive beliefs come from the support, the evidence that you have towards it. So you gotta make sure that the actions that you take are supporting that identity that you want. And once you start to switch your identity, you're gonna no longer be that person who you hated or who you disliked. And that's once I realized that, everything changed. I'll finish it off with this one. Who is the type of person that has a six pack abs? Who is this type of person that have that V-shaped line on the abs? Who is, who is that type of person who has muscle definition, who has, you know, big biceps, big shoulders, you know, who's, you know, getting his physique up, ripped as hell you know who is that type of person who is reading books on a daily basis who is applying the knowledge who is this type of person that's what you got to ask yourself and you're going to realize that once you know who that type of person is all you got to do is do the things that that type of person would do and you're going to become that person sooner or later but anyways that's all i gotta say i'm out